They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Okay, so there's a karaoke place on Saint Laurent, uh, not too far from us, and it's it looks real pathetic. There's never anyone there, and if there is, it's one person singing alone. And Leanna's like, we have to go, we have to go so bad. I was like, why would you want to go? It's empty. She's like, yeah, I love pathetic people. <laughs> In, in a thing, I want to be that person singing along with no one watching. Okay, so here's. And I'm like, that's so specific a fetish. Here's how turbo weeb I am. Okay. When I was in college, it, my oh, friends, it's gonna be good. My friends were all like, "Hey, man, you want to go out karaoke? We do it all the time, every like Thursday or whatever, down the street at the bar place." And yeah. I was like, uh, "Yeah, sure, why not?" You know. Um, and we went, and it was the big bar upstairs, and then you do the karaoke on the stage. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. And they were like, what do you mean? <laughs> and I was like, where is the small little private room that we rent to ourselves where we drink our Pocari sweat? And they're like, what are you even talking about? And I was like, oh. <laughs> you don't live in that country, Wooly. I had no context There's American whatsoever. style, then there's Japanese style. I only knew about the other style. Oh, well, boy. depending where you go, you can rent out rooms and stuff, and it'd be private. Yeah, right? but, but, but when more people say karaoke up here, places, they mean or, singing in public at a bar. Yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. mean in your own private room. Well, you should come to the place that, that, we, that we're looking at, because there's never no one there. It's basically public. Yeah, yeah. Uh, private, rather. We can, we can do another rendition of Clint Eastwood. Yeah, that's like, what, the fourth time now <laughs> coming up? It's the only thing we do. It's, it's the only thing we got. Play the hits, man! Don't- no new stuff! <laughs> no one wants to hear the new stuff! Just do the old thing! <laughs> oh god, hey, I'm gonna weird people out and give them a cool factoid. Did you know that Montreal is older than Canada? Yeah, think about it. It's right. true. Bad weather coming soon. A feeling in my bones. I got this feeling inside my bones. I got this feeling inside my bones. Well, there's sunshine in my pocket. Okay, hold on. There we go. Uh, this got to be the last telescope thing. You I think, think so? I think, because there's no room left. On the sky? In, this, in the fucking sky. Or the telescope's range. And guess what, motherfucker? You're going to burn your eyes out again. The real estate has been taken. I think you could maybe... Triple jump it off the wire? Possibly. Or does it not work on the wire? Nah, no, no, it's not. It's not good. So you need to get on the the red uh, one. Yeah, and I need. Yeah, well, I need to do what I just did, but I need a good a good jump. And I know the triple jump. Uh, no. So dangerous. No, that's no good. So I got to do it like one, two, three. That should do it. Yeah. You gotta make it easier to get up here, Mr. Chazakov. I'm sure Chazakov himself does that. Me, Chazakov. You look a bit worse for a while today, May. Oh, Chaz, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Now oh, watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. You have to see some stars. You know it. Or some czars. Ah. Come have a look, kid. Don't do it this time. <laughs> ah! What's the, what's the, oh, it's fine. There's not even any text for it. Like they both knew it was going to happen, so no one talked about it. All right. So the only places left are over here. Think I got one? Let us see. That's actually the most normal looking one. Fernandan the Mountaineer. Like Franz Ferdinand? I think so. Ferdinand. <laughs> That's a fun name. It is. So what's up with this guy? Ferdinand was from a flat land. That's why he's called that. Oh my god, like for a second the song that was playing almost sounded like uh, a Franz Ferdinand track. Maybe. maybe I don't, I, I, they, they can't be actually going no. for it. But it just sounded, sounded a little similar. And now it's gone. The Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of whatever he was from. Whatever. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains. And devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? 
to seek that which is unlike where one grows up. Yeah, 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 yeah. People go to the city a lot. Like they move there because it's got stuff. <laughs> and there's more pe people and people like them. there's more people like them maybe. Sucks though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt this same thing, but I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It's okay. I mean, it is beautiful in ways, perhaps invisible, to those who have seen it every day of their lives. So what happened to Ferdinand? He's dead. He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds, and now they rested hard upon him. That's really a specific complaint. <laughs> when one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One! One, one. One, one, one. One, one, one. Public enemy <laughs> number one. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, I fucking love that song, so the ironically. So the thing is, is like, I, I've talked about this a lot with my friends, like, when you actually are one of those people that is like, man, the city is loud and all Noisy. corrupt and I need to move out to the countryside and get a peaceful life and I'm gonna have my family there and it's gonna be perfect. Mm -hmm. Guess what's gonna happen? What's gonna You're happen? gonna raise kids that are gonna be like, this shit sucks! sucks. It's boring! Riding my bike in circles is garbage! <laughs> I'm leaving immediately and moving to town where shit's happening. And and then I don't have to see you as often, too. And then one generation later, or two, maybe you have grandpa's grandkids. They're like, oh, wow, this is noisy. I need to go back to the country. Mm. And you fucking ping pong it because all people want is where they're not. Yeah, the grass is always greener where you're not. That's so. all it's about. Gotcha. Oh, which one is this? It is weird. <laughs> Adina Astra. It's strange. Yeah. <laughs> That's that noise. You know this one? Yeah, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journey to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth where her stars are no longer over her head. And how she was never seen again? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Is that not a sad ending? No. Disappearing is not the same as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely. And did all kinds of cool shit. Like my dog did when he went up to the farm. Yeah, he ran from there. Up oh my! Upstate. Yeah, so, whatever. Oof, that's all for the day. Yes, that's <laughs> not even two. And if you want me, that was nice. That's all I, I ever wanted. Here, with it with you. Uh, pretty sweet stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Adina. Yeah. Fuck you, man. Tori Heizo, Doug. He went deep into the earth and no one ever saw him again. And we know he's doing cool shit. You know he's doing shit. <laughs> and then one day, Mr. Driller popped up out of the ground, and we're all like, who are you? And he's like, yeah, my dad's the best. And we're like, see? <laughs> see? That's weird. You can dig and never be seen again and still be cool. Yeah. You just, you just want to go for that underground life forever. And not go up to the surface world. Fuck the surface world. Well, how much, how different is that from, like, going to the city, to the country? Depends. If you're going... Oh, God. Well, let's get depressed again. I mean, if you want to talk, like, if, what's underground? If we're going Morlock deep, then, like, maybe not. I don't if really we're going go Futurama Mutant deep, then maybe not. If we're going Mole so People So give me deep. one where that's good. <laughs> Well, he's literally staring at nothing. So, like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are all cool. Because <laughs> I'm like, what happens? You keep digging and then you hit the locusts from Gears of War. Yeah, you're gonna hit some shit. There's nothing else. Very least. Safer. Safer. Yeah, I like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. <laughs> you're a little paranoid, you know that? 
Kids, you don't know. You don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone missing here? <laughs> missing anyone? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. Uh, she hasn't been... Uh, she hasn't been on since Harfest. Shabam, Zoes. Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. <laughs> okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Mulve. Mm! Mulve? You know someone from Mulve? Yeah. Do you know where Mulve is? Do you know what Mulve is? No. I heard about Mulve. My dad drives a bread truck. Mulve used to be one of the stops. What happened? You don't stop there no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mulve? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We'll just drive through. If you're thinking about going to Mulve, don't. Don't. I need to get back to the sun now. Just like sewer kids. Yeah. That's right. Th those are. You know what? That's the level. Those are Morlocks. That's the level you're getting to. Yeah. yeah. And that's just walking down the stairs. Like, that's not even that bad. Morlocks are at least a couple of uh, sewage ladders. Like, deep. they're under the train tracks, maybe. Uh, under the subway tracks, rather. So I says to her, Mabel, get off the dang table. <laughs> and she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true. We both danced on that table. Remember that broke damn thing, tell you what. Yeah. Somehow I can't see it. Well, yet to be there. I really didn't. What interesting lives you lead. Amazing lives, even. Yeah, I see the drum warfare is down there. Oh, the music's picking up. It's, the, it's a different track. Plus, we can hear this a lot better this time around. We either fiddle with something or whatever, but... I turned the I volume up. Okay, good. Why don't you just bulldoze it? No one cares about the fudog key. Hey, stranger, no. hello. You have to talk to Germ to talk to me. Hey. Hey, Angel, this is my friend May. Hey, May, what's up? Cool name. Gracias, much obliged. Angel's just here in town with two trains. Going west next? Yeah, then south for the winter. Like a dirty birdie. Down to the Gulf. Lay in the sun. Eat me some crawfish. Actually, Angel, you might be able to answer a question. Shoot, bro. Uh, so, ghosts or Casey? Uh, now, uh, hey, it's literally giving you the ability to talk. Uh -huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have you met anyone, <laughs> perhaps? Named Ghost. Oh, but on the rails, maybe? Huh, let me think. You know what he or she look like? He. He, uh, he okay, looks kind of like me, a little taller, orange hair. Ah, uh, nah, man, I don't recollect. But I've seen like a thousand dudes out there. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'll ask around, and if I find him, someone who's seen him, I'll say that May from Possum Springs is looking for him. Thanks, that means a lot. I owe you. Nah, nah. It's a cold world. Run by the worst people. <laughs> And good men die for God knows what reason. It's a cold, cold We gotta world. take on, like, and duties you know for one it. another, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks again. What's traveling like? It's good, it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Never could stay in one spot. I have the exact opposite problem. Alright, partner, it's time for me to shove off. See ya, Angel. Stay safe. Adios. That's where the ghost is. Well, that's over. No fun? No fun. Some bad's coming. <laughs> Something wicked this way comes. <laughs> I know. That's fucked up with germ warfare. It's like, shit's gonna get yeah. fucked. It's a ghost germ. It's a real life ghost. There aren't ghosts. Ghosts aren't a thing. How do you know? My brother would have visited. Oh! Jeez. Well, there it is. <laughs> See ya. Time to go into my invisible fortress. 
I am a ghost. Basically. No one talks to Germ but you. Basically. Except that we just literally talked to that homeless guy. Proving it. I mean, he really could be a ghost. I think he's a ghost. What's <laughs> out there? Whatever. I love how she's like your main character is like, ah, oh, I don't even know. But I'm pretty sure it's this. Slash aliens. Could be, it could be ghost slash aliens. Can't trust that native elk. It could be a hot pocket. Never underestimate the possibility. Yeah. Let's put scented pillows outside his house and see what happens. I got too scared, so we ran away immediately. <laughs> no, no, the best is like... We heard him through the window and he said, Oh, this water is perfect. We immediately ran home. Jeff Trenton had a bird fly into his face and fell off his bike. All right, uh, so what I would like to do is find the other four. How's a malt? Oh, don't, don't, don't ask me. I thought I knew, but then people yelled at me. I don't want to talk about it. Bow, bow. Found this guy. Yep. Anything talk new? To him. Hi again. It's you, kid. I'm actually 20. I'm 38. You're a kid. Okay. How'd you find this place? <laughs> I mean, I knew this was up here since I was a kid, but only got up there nerve to break in recently. Why is that? Not getting any younger. And this place could fall in any day. You get to a point in life where the number of first evers gets lower. And the number of never agains gets higher. Oh, it's fucked up. That's I a don't good know. Sentence. It's really good. I think I know what you mean. No, you don't. Funny. What? I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging out by himself and playing music. Small world. Hey, yeah, well. Small town at least. Definitely. Hey, see ya! See ya! Yeah, I don't, uh. No idea where the other. Well, if the two, if if the two corners of town each have the one, then I'm gonna assume the two bottoms are where the others would be because they were always on like polar opposite areas, right? You know. What uh, I mean? Not necessarily, but I'm 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 assuming it's something like what you're saying. Like maybe this building when I can finally go inside it or no, something. No, the only go inside there once. That's when you ate pizza and it's just kind of locked from the entire time. But where do they practice? I don't know, because you never see them go in or come out of the building. Sup, duder? Hey. How you holding up? Surviving. I had the weirdest dream last night. Really? <laughs> I kind of met God. Jeez. And they were kind of an <laughs> asshole. Huh. And that's how my mom, that's how my week's going. <laughs> Can I offer you a complimentary slushie? To replace the idea of a caring god. I care, god. I can throw in some chips? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm good, I'm good. So what's up? Hey, you know, just checking in. Uh, you have checked in, officially. I check the... Do my four square. So what's up? Checking in. You have checked in. Officially, I check. I have a strong sense of deja vu there. I, I mean, the, the, a place I would think they, uh, a hidden guy would be, other, other one maybe they unlock after in this story trash stuff, bin is is in the sewers. But yeah. you just went through them and there was like nothing. Yeah. Um, in in uh, Astro Boy, there was a hidden NPC in a garbage bin. That makes sense. Hey, man. Hey, dude. Told her what's up. Nothing. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, don't mind me. That's it. What about Boy, that dumpster? Aside from, like, things being locked away from, like, story progression, I... I I can't think of anywhere you haven't really been. Mm -hmm. We'll find them eventually. Today, today's a new day, yeah? It's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new life. It's a new day! Yes, it is. Feeling good. Um, I suppose you could 
No, you can't go back there because Germ only brought you there to the other guy that was had a thing. Hey, babe. Uh, musical instrument. Hey. You all right? You seem down. <laughs> it's B. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. Your smorking is depressed. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Like, I can see how sad your cigarette is. Oof. What are you enough. up to today? Uh, you know. Have fun. Uh, the church. Yep. I haven't been there in a little bit. Uh, yeah, so, uh, the last thing we did before band practice was, uh, the stuff with B, right? Yeah. Uh, the fireflies. No, something before that. Uh, something, yeah, something after that we, we hung out with her. Uh, God, what was it? We, um, we looked at the microfish, and then we went to the thing. We went to the library. Yeah. And we looked up, we looked so, up yeah, stuff. I didn't count that because that was, like, mission stuff, but yeah, you're right. Well, I think right now, everything, everyone's hangout counts as mission stuff. I'm not sure. Oh, do those overlap? Yeah, okay. It depends. Uh, hey, hon, are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hon. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday, it's full then. I bet it is. Sorry, you gotta work because we have money problems. Man, I've always had a job. This is just another one. Gotta get back to work, so we're reading the one book I got. See ya, mommers. See ya, daughters. <laughs> That's. That's a funny spelling. That's clever. <laughs> it's, it's exactly how you would say it. Yeah. If you if daughters, you just, like it's hard if to. If you're a little kid and you write, you're right, gonna write daughter. That's how you'd write it, wouldn't mm -hmm, you? Mm -hmm. I hate this group of people because there will be children there. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's, That's your, your job, job to, to fix, fix it, not, not ours. <laughs> the population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space and we have the people who need space. We have resources, and we have poverty, and not in some far-off place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. Karen, it's our number one job right now to bring business into town. Businesses means jobs, and jobs means people. I, why we can do what we can. We have to do what we can. <laughs> Get the attention on the market. I like that guy. I like your voice there. I'm half, and I'm having a half-dead church stuck full of bums. Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Karen. You have a good heart, Karen. Thank you all for coming. That's that. That's the sounds of that rabble. Did you see that bug? Did they all stopped at the edge of the screen and then disappeared? I did not see. Ugh, stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. I mean, was <laughs> this all about Bruce? It was. Is. Whatever, it's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Those of the fire-breathing god. Right? Mm-hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. <laughs> Sounds serious. I guess. It's like... Things have been rough lately. <laughs> I can see that. What seems to be the, your boggle? <sighs> you can't just throw that out there to a pastor and not expect a long-ass conversation. So... Or you could get a really short one. Check this out. Yeah? I kind of maybe sort of met God. <laughs> That's correct. What? It Sorry. was all a dream. I used to read Word Up Magazine. Snake Eater. Oh god, that happens too often it on this does. fucking channel. That happens way too often. Look, I don't think it was a dream. Oh wow. That happens, right? Or like happened? Sure. Can you tell me about it? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So I don't know what it was. Neither really, but the, all we had was stars, but sure. It was Maybe like the sure. shore. 
of this giant black ocean, and I could see like forever into the sky, and below it was just sand, and as far as I could see, I was wandering through it, but I was like drawn to something. And I came up over this, what do you call it, uh, the hill made of sand? A dune? Dune. <laughs> dune. Yeah, dune. Dune club. And there was God, just sitting there on another hill, hanging out, or dune, you know, whatever. Just hanging out. Yeah. Seemed like they were really, really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Sure did. They they were kind of a jerk. I mean, more of a straight up asshole. Sorry, <laughs> can I say that in a church? <laughs> I think the structure can, can handle the shock. <sighs> they went on and on and on about how annoyed they were that people kept coming up to them with questions and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Huh. They keep talking about how nothing matters, and... and... And, and, like, the universe is ending, and everything is being forgotten. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? I don't know. No, I have friends. Yeah. I, there you go. <laughs> right? And I've been with them every day since I got home. But, you know, there's this deep-down loneliness, I suppose, that's been there for years. Since, well, it's, just, it's been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. <sighs> that's interesting. Yeah. What was the other truth? No. Oh. I mean, believing in God is different from... Belie well, no. <laughs> Believing the existence of it and giving a shit that he's there are two different things. I, I'd say so. And it's like, oh, I believe in God, but I fucking don't give a fuck. You know, it's a very different attitude to have. And I don't think that's what it's being conveyed here. But mm. either way, I'm going to follow this path and see where it takes me. I don't believe in God anymore. If you want the truth, I think everyone doesn't believe in God for at least a few minutes a day. Huh. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. You really think there's a God? Like, literally someone up there listening. Is that something you completely believe? Um... I don't know. Oh? Okay. On my best days, I think I do. There are times where I don't. But, but you stand up there every Sunday and tell people that you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe! Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people! How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself! Maybe you're right, May, and maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally on how much I believe that week, but who would that help? But you're a pastor, and you can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone's watching. Anyone who gives a shit. No, but... And then what's the point of you? I gotta go. Okay. That is a little real. I love that conversation in The Simpsons where there's a, a talk line and yeah. Reverend Lovejoy has is on it and uh, Krusty's dad, yeah. the rabbi, and then like another like a Catholic uh, priest. And they're like, hey, yeah, uh, first time caller, uh, d d does, does any of you uh, actually believe that God really exists with all the pain and suffering in the world? And it goes through all the goes, nope, not, uh, no, not at all. And then the, the guy's like, oh, great. Yeah, thanks, guys. Great conversation there. Right. I was going to say. I love Krusty dad. Not at all. The appropriate thing was to, was to just leave, but there, I didn't exhaust dialogue there. Maybe there was an option to. Oh well, missed one. Ah. Uh, That's the one where she reveals that she's the bad guy. 